Good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for having me here to speak today. So I'm Lucy Woodward. I've, I've actually been introduced as a penguin. I get quite used to this. I'm, I'm head of Club Penguin for Europe. Um, uh, that's, that's what I'm doing on a day-to-day basis. I'm also mum to two young children, Imogen and Ben. My daughter is four and a half. My son is two and a half. And um, they're probably better at using the iPad than I am, to be frank. Um, so it's really great to be able to talk to you today about internet safety, wearing my two hats in Club Penguin and as a mum. So, uh, very briefly still, I want to give you a bit of background on Club Penguin and what we are, why we're so proud of what we do to keep children safe online, and how we're working to spread the word about internet safety to a broader audience. So Club Penguin, we're a virtual world. It's a virtual playground where children can come together and express themselves as part of an online community. And I personally believe they are fantastic environments on the internet in in which children can let their imagination soar and develop those really important soft social skills which um, it's obviously going to see them into the future whilst having a lot of fun. Um, Club Penguin actually developed seven years ago. It was the idea of three dads. They wanted somewhere fun for their kids to go and play, but equally they wanted that virtual playground to be safe. And somewhere fun and somewhere safe remains absolutely at the heart of what we do every day. And I cannot emphasise enough how much safety comes before anything else at Club Penguin. So if you have children around the ages of about 6 to 10, it's probably likely they will, or they already have, come into Club Penguin. They'll create their own penguin avatar and penguin name. And at that point, they can then explore the penguin world. They can play games, they can dress up, they can attend virtual parties, decorate their igloo, uh, chat with other penguins, and generally learn to be part of this penguin community, which might sound quite bizarre, but it it works. Um, And to put the size of this community in context, we've got millions of children. We've got over 200 million children registered to play on Club Penguin. We have millions of children playing in over 190 countries and in five different languages. And as I mentioned before, when it comes to safety, Club Penguin sets the benchmark. We're extremely proud of everything we do to make sure children are safe within our world. So, safety. For our game, it's built on many on many levels. Technology is the foundation to ensure that Club Penguin is safe by design. And we're confident that Club Penguin has the industry's most advanced chat and filtering technology. We use what's called whitelist technology. And what this means is you start from the premise that every word is blacklisted, i.e. not allowed. And you gradually introduce the words that the kids are able to say within the game. And as we all know, kids' language can change from day to day, week to week, depending on what's cool, what's going on in their lives, what's the latest film that's been released. Um, So daily, we have to continuously amend our whitelist to make sure that children can communicate easily within the game but cannot share personal information such as addresses, dates, phone numbers, or harass other players by using any form of nasty language. So on top of the technology, staff is obviously another priority for us. We believe we have more moderators than any other game, any other virtual world. A team of over 200 people continuously monitor, moderate and keep our penguins safe. They talk to them on a regular basis. We answer thousands of emails every week. We know children. We know what they're... they're, they're, You know, they'll just come and have a chat with us a lot of the time. Um, And and it's, it's really nice, but we use these moderators to be absolutely on top of what is going on with these children in our game. And that's where the the, the, the the interplay between the human aspect and the technical aspect is so important. We actively encourage penguins, our players, um, to look out for each other and respect one another within the world. And if they're at all worried about anything, they let our moderators know with just one click of a button. And we also have a very sophisticated and proven global escalation process for children whose welfare we are worried about. Some of the things that we can see that children are trying to say within the game, other penguins won't be able to see it. But if we're worried in, in, any, way, in any way, shape or form about the welfare, um, we, can, we can escalate these processes. And, and I can talk to you more about that procedure in the Q&A later if you'd be interested. <laughs> So this isn't obviously just about children online, this is about the parents and getting parents involved. We've got various tools within our game to help parents manage their children's time online and to help manage their children's gameplay. And we've also created a guide to the wonderful world of the web based on our seven years experience to help parents get the most out of the internet for their children. 
all in all, we believe the internet is a fantastic tool if people just know how to utilise it, it sensibly. So I've talked about the technology, I've talked about the people at Club Penguin, um, but at Disney we're, we're going that one step further as well. We work with several online NGOs and government organisations to promote internet safety. We donate money and time to help these NGOs educate children in school. And we're now taking this to the next level. We think that Disney is in a unique position. We've got a huge network of TV channels, websites, magazines, stores, and obviously our, our well-loved characters to make sure that every child knows how to behave safely online and every parent knows what to look out for. So over the next three years, we're going to be donating three million pounds worth of our Dis Disney media space to local organizations across Europe to deliver these safety, these important educational safety messages. Our first campaigns launching in the next couple of weeks in the UK to support Safer Internet Day where we've worked very closely with both Childnet and Seop. So I hope this really short presentation gives you a sense of how important internet safety is to us, how we utilise the technology, the people and the means that Disney has to educate parents on how to get the most out of the internet safely. We know there's a lot of work to do. The internet is evolving so rapidly. There isn't a simple solution. But at Club Penguin, we know children. We have learned so much over the last seven years, and we are really keen to share more of that knowledge with you and work with you in any way that we can to help make the internet a safer place. We would love to welcome some of you to Brighton in the UK. It's snowing like it is here. Um, but we would love to welcome you and, and show you our moderation in action and, and, and what we actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and later on, I look forward to answering any Q&As. Thank you.